Okay, good morning. Ah, $2.5 million house. Okay, this is a this is a house I've been working on for years. I've done a lot of big, big projects to this house. And the homeowner trusts me to do this particular job I'm on now. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I almost turned it down. That's right, almost turned it down. Beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. Oh man, that's all I can say. And I've been in this neighborhood, this is this Hazen Tree, for years, at least 11 years that I've uh, actually cranked out work in this neighborhood. Now, here, here's the problem. Let's go look at it. <laughs> Good morning. Oh, hope everybody's doing well. This is a handyman video. Okay. The problem is, is this is wood rot, okay? And it's on the second floor in a very precarious situation, place where I can't quite get at it. So I had to come up with a whole bunch of different ideas to figure out how to get to this one spot, okay? So let me show you what I've got, what, what's going on here. All right, hold on. All right, it's cold as shit this morning. The sun's spiking the camera. So there we go, okay. I gotta be way up there in that corner. This is this roof pitch is too damn too steep to walk on. I was gonna get one of those electric bucket trucks, uh, bu bucket booms, whatever you call them, and it just would not fit in here. Okay, we tried everything. Plus, they wanted five hundred dollars a day to rent the rent the machine. And I just said, you know what? And I've been at this house a couple of times just staring at it, trying to figure out what the hell to do. And the biggest problem was is we didn't want to really drill into the shingles, okay? But we had to, all right? I had to build a ladder, so that's what I did is I built a ladder. And this is what we had to do. This is what I had to do. All right, let's go up. And there she is, okay? Three screws, here, here, and here. Now, being that this is not actually drilling into the main room, because this is a beautiful, beautiful room right here, this is where the fireplace is, I told them I didn't want to drill into the shingles up there and basically build a stair-step ladder system. So this is where it is. So. The screws would be actually coming out through here. Now, of course, I'm going to plug these, which is no big deal with roofing tar. But the homeowner is the one that said, no, I don't want you drilling screws all through here. So figure something else out. Well, there's my wood rod. See, it's just in a really odd spot. See, there it is. And it did go through the fascia too, the trim and the fascia shot. So I need to get that out of there. And I got the paint. I got all the materials I need to fix this job. But anyway, there's what I've come up with. And of course I secured it on the inside. So when you're up here like this, it's just some scary shit, man. I'm telling you. And I've already been up there, so... And, and, and this is not moving, so this is cool. At least the idea is the co most cost-effective idea, and it works, okay? To get, that, get at that one weird spot. Okay, let's get back down. And like I said, the big concern was... Hold on. The big concern was is drilling too many holes into shingles and then over time, something happened and it starts leaking. And man, that's the last thing we want to see happen here is that it starts leaking in this beautiful, beautiful for, uh, foyer room, uh, formal room. But yeah, crazy, man. Thanks for blowing up the channel, guys. You guys are blowing it up. And it's all because of this other house, the video, the million dollar house where the drainage issue you guys exploded that video, man. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Uh, views are up to 175,000 views in the last 48 hours. I mean, thank you very much. I appreciate it. You know, what can I say? Thank you. You guys are helping me. But this is a beautiful house. This is one I did a whole bunch of stone work in the back near a hot tub area, retaining wall. 
I mean, this, this place is bitching, man. Nice house. I love it. Waterfall. I've showed you this house before in videos. Sure have. When the guys were building that, that waterfall over there. And there's a beautiful feature over there, too. And, and, I mean, this has just got this gorgeous, beautiful party area back here. Beautiful. But, anyway, let me get back at this. I got, I got still quite a lot of work to get this thing done. And then, of course, there's three other places around the house that are rotted also. And uh, they've already approved that, too. The big thing was getting past this whole, how can I stand up there? and not kill myself that's basically and or destroy the roof that was the thing try not to destroy the roof putting too many screw holes in that area to where i can't plug it with roofing tar okay i'll talk to you guys tonight love you you know that and thanks again for blowing up the channel you guys have really made me happy i appreciate you thank you mr fixall we appreciate you guys out of here